Yo, what's up, guys? Give me a quick tutorial on how to spoof to 4.75 on any custom firmware, Kex or Dex. I'm on Rebug 4.70.1 Rex Cobra Edition, and I'll show you guys I get the update message too. So I'm going to show you guys how to spoof to 4.75 and sign in. So before we start, uh, we need to make sure there's no spoofer already enabled. If you do, just disable it and delete the homebrew app. And for Rebug users, we need to make sure that in Rebug Toolbox that our system mode is on normal. So if you're not on Rebug, uh, don't worry about this. You don't need to do this. So for Rebug users, just open up Rebug Toolbox. And I'll just show you guys my system information. As you can see, I'm on 4.70 kex. And you just want to scroll over to selector. And under system mode, you got to make sure that's on normal. If it's on Rebug, just switch it to normal and restart your system. And you'll be fine. So just quit. And now we're gonna install the spoofer. So a link will be in the description for the spoofer. It's SCN Enabler version 5.8.3. So once you download this, you'll get the PKG. Just put it on your USB, the root of your USB, and just drag it over to your PS3. And once it's on your PS3, make sure your USB is in the right USB port. If you have a fat PS3 for this, the right USB port. So once you install that, and install it, just go to Package Manager, install Package Files in Standard, it'll be right there. So once you got that installed, just run it. See right now, it's just the beta for the homebrew. Um, once the official release for SCN Enabler gets released, I will update the link in the description so it's like fully working. So you just wanna click okay. And so it's a beta, right? So some of these functions might not work, but we're only gonna use the spoofer. I know that works. So I just wanna click square. Enable slash disable SCN access, click square again. Enable SCN access, click square again, and then click X. All right, PSN slash SCN access enabled successfully. Do you want to reboot? We're going to reboot because if you do not reboot, your PS3 system will be unstable. So you want to click X and then I'll see you guys when it's restarted. All right, guys, so once your PS3 restarted, we're going to go check our system information. And as you can see, system software version 4.75. So let's try to sign in now. As you can see, I signed in. So we have successfully spoofed to 4.75. And that's basically it, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.